Hello again, everybody. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about when you um, save your uh, QuickTime audio file, uh, one thing that's best to do is when you're importing a file into After Effects, especially audio, you want a wave, what we call a wave file. So uh, what QuickTime is going to do is going to naturally export it or save it as a as a movie file, which is somewhat large and it seems not to work as well. So um, what you can do is once you save it, bring it into iTunes, go to down to your bottom, open up iTunes and import it. All you need to do is go to when you're on iTunes, go to file, um, add to library and find your file. Uh, it's, you know, whether it be on your desktop or on your flash drive or whatever, import it here. And then once you um, see it here, uh, your file, right click or control click on it and then go to create wave version. Click on that and it'll voila, make a wave version. And then all you got to do is once you're in After Effects, as simple as this is that you can either drag and drop or just import it into your After Effects file. Um, so what that might look like is, oh, I closed down my After Effects, so I got to open it back up. Um, let's see. Give me a second. So here we are in After Effects now. Um, what you have to do is once you're in iTunes, this is what I did, is it, it was really easy. I just took my WAV file here and drag and dropped it into our composition, and there it is, our WAV file, okay? So um, in order to listen to your your audio, if you you can double click on it and make it a composition, um, but um, we can drag it down to our composition and here it is. Um, to listen to it, you're going to have to click this RAM preview button. And Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's, it's okay, he woke up. <laughs> so, All right. so um, it was a little sped up there, so you got to mess around with the com comp settings uh, here um, and probably tweak the duration or the um, frame rate perhaps but um yeah good luck I'll, I'll try to mess with that myself and get back to you on that all right that's uh audio getting it into after effects okay well also making it a wave file okay good luck guys